I am in um, the Family Dollar buying some stuff for the um, party we're having today. The Family Dollar has the cutest home decor stuff. Let me show right y'all. They're six bucks. Okay. I don't know if it's showing the true color, but they're six dollars. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? And look at this one. It says Faith. I mean, these are super cute. Now, these would work perfect in my living room right here. Um, They just have the cutest stuff. Look at this one. Ten dollars. I absolutely love this store. The struggle really is good. real. You see all those people out there? Yeah, they're waiting in line for their pre-ordered iPhones. All of those motherfuckers. Now, they talk about black folks and things. That's a line full of almost nothing but white folks. I see one black guy right down there when they love him, but everybody else is um, white folks. So it ain't just us. You know what I'm saying? That they be talking, they be talking, they be talking about us and the Jordan. This food talking about look like a line for food stamps. Bye. We had it in um, FedEx to get um, a oh, family. Aid. I'm in Walmart and I did go to Kinko's to um, attempt to get a banner made, but they're talking about fifty something dollars, and I'm not trying to spend fifty something dollars on a banner. So um, I'm probably gonna do it nigga style and get a couple of posters and kind of recreate my own poster of sorts just see how it works out because I'm not trying to spend $50 on a poster but he said that's the minimum so it's $50 and on top of that $50 is going to be $6 and some odd cent per square feet and that just ain't gonna work for me oh look at $9. this chair $89 I'm gonna have to come back and get that and it's super oh my god that would match my bedroom perfectly look at that OMG plus this I can definitely see me doing something with this Ooh, yeah I'm gonna have to come back and get that and this chair for my bedroom because it just matches perfectly and the chair is only $89 yay for that breakfast family so I think I'm pretty much done as far as shopping and everything for the party um I got a couple of things of uh, balloons i also picked up um some of these water balloon things because i want to have a water balloon fight and these are 100 balloons and they were only a dollar and i picked up two of those so i figured 200 balloons you know that's more than enough and it comes with the little um the little thing here to where you hook it up to your faucet and it automatically you know fills them up or whatever so that's pretty cool i also y'all already know look nigga Bam, bitch. Oh no, we finna bitch. Draw four of them hoes, bitch. Draw four of them hoes. Y'all already know. That's one thing about Uno in school. I never forget here. I done almost got to fight with a bitch. She got mad because I threw that draw four on her ass. She had a one card. Bam, bitch. Draw four. You know what I'm saying? Especially when, if I'm remembering correctly, you can bam on two times. You know, draw eight, bitch. Yes. That'll piss a bitch off uh, to the highest level of pissivity. Yes, ma'am. It will do it to him. Do it to him. And especially when you know they think they're finna get you out the game and you hit their ass with that reverse. Bitch. So that's finna be off the motherfucking meat rack. Yes, we finna be playing some um, Uno. I also had to pick up y'all. Look, look. Y'all don't know nothing about this shit here. Not a motherfucking thing. Look. I had to pick up the old school, you know, the, the, the spades car so we can play a little spade, little tonk, little thing like that. Also, my mom, she got some dominoes. Yeah, see y'all, y'all don't know, y'all might not know nothing about these type of things right here. We about to have a good old time down in the country on this weekend, hopefully. Hopefully it ain't no um, foolishness and rhetoric that's going on down there because we don't need no foolishness and rhetoric, okay? But we're going to be playing some Uno cards, some spades, some tonk, some uh, water balloon fighting, some shit like that. And I, like I said, I bought some balloons. I also, look, I went to get that goddamn banner. Them people talking about $50, okay? I'm not, no, no, no. No, not on today. We're not going to pay you no $50 today for the motherfucking um, banter. So, I bought some um, poster boards. And I'm just going to um, write on the poster board and stuff like that. And it's, I'm just going to hang it up. It's going to be real cute and all that type of shit. I, now, I'm not going to promise. Well, no matter of fact, I'm not even going to get no footage down there. I already know because, I don't, like I said, I don't want to get nobody on camera. I also picked up me some more of these individual lashes. This time I got the mediums and everything. I'm going to put those in. Last time I had the long, and I that's when I caught that cold and all that shit was like getting up kind of in my eyeballs and things. And, you know, that really wasn't working out too well. So, um, I had to buy me some more because I really don't want to, um, 
you know, at, at that particular time, I could have left him in, but it was just all that cold and stuff in my eye, and that shit wasn't sanitary, and I could kind of feel my eyes, you know, when you do that shit like that, and when you leave that shit in your eye, even though your eyes is, you know, kind of getting all that cold and shit, I mean, you can start getting infections and stuff like that, and I wasn't trying to be walking around here with no damn thick-ass eyeballs and things with infections, I'm trying to be cute, I just could not do that, and what else did I pick up? I picked up some of these permanent markers um to write on the poster board with so it's gonna be it's gonna be real cute and i called my mom because look i bought some um cupcakes and stuff like that and my mom's like you know this grown folks coming to this this party right i'm like but mom clearly i'm not saying all we gonna eat is cupcakes you know she my mom she's trying to go all out she's trying to buy ribs and all this type of stuff i said mama no we buying hamburger meat hot dogs some sausages shit like that that's the type of stuff that we gonna buy we not buying no damn um ribs and things we just not you know if people want to bring ribs that's 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 their prerogative if they want to have beer and wine you know be wild be we not um finna get no niggas drunk around this camp okay we might go pick up a little moonshine you know from the bootlegger <laughs> from the bootlegger never know you know might put, pick up a little wine from the bootlegger now the last time we did that shit my dad had a fish fry and um, all them women were there with their damn husband when my dad went and got that damn moonshine honey mm -mm, it was time to go every bitch up in there so you know what no get your motherfucking shit put on your shoes nigga it's time to do because god damn it all you ain't finna be riding me down no road drinking no motherfucking moonshine that shit right they want to tell y'all family moonshine that shit scripts the paint off of cars bitch it's especially that, that that alabama moonshine that shit scripts the paint off of cars honey it is not a motherfucking game around this camp so i will uh advise anybody who um is in the country or is hit anywhere and you got these bamboo bootleggers making this moonshine beat uh, uh, uh drink at your own motherfucking risk okay because that shit will eat the lining out of your goddamn stomach if it's peeling paint on cars but just imagine what it's doing in your damn insides anyway fuck all that shit it's getting hot in this car i need to head into this um thrift store because i need to get the juice man he needs he wants some jeans and a t-shirt to wear um because I don't know. I guess all of his shit, like his summer stuff is packed down. I don't know why the fuck he packed his summer stuff down. Like, that, that, don't, that really don't make no sense. And I really don't have time to be unpacking it. So, I'm going to go in here and get some jeans and t-shirts so he can wear it tomorrow. And all that stuff. He got his hair, y'all. He got his shit shaved. The shit looks crazy. Well, it, okay, it's, it's, it's cute. He looks handsome. But... <laughs> He got his goatee and his beard and all that shit shaped up. And I told him he got him looking like, um, you know how when people put on those fake beards and shit like for Halloween and stuff. It looked like that because the guy lined it up too perfect. You know what I'm saying? The shit looked kind of cray cray to me. I don't know, just a little bit. But anyway, let me cut my ass up in here. Oh, and look what we're having going on in my city, y'all. We're having a circus. And it says a free ticket. Now, when I saw a free motherfucking ticket, you know I got all excited and things. I'm like, bitch, finna go to a free circus. This shit says it's free. Uh, admit two children when your grown ass is paying. So, no, it ain't for grown folks, bitch. This is not for grown folks. The only way you can get in free, I mean, the only people who can get in free is children under the age of 14 when your grown ass paying. I, I should have known, like, motherfucking ain't these folks are gonna be having no goddamn free circus. You know what I'm saying? So, niggas can come, nigga, how I'm gonna make some money? Okay, but the place that they're having it, I don't really see how they're gonna be having no acrobatics and all that type of shit, because they having it at the, um, at the Bobby Miller Center. And they're like, nigga, what kind of acrobatics you gonna do in there? That ain't nothing but a damn gymnasium. You know what I'm saying? I know I know motherfucking elephants finna be in there, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. But let me hear my ass in the first I think I mentioned this, but I have a job interview at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna have to let y'all know how that goes, so I'm probably gonna post this after I, um, after I go to the interview, I'm probably gonna post it to see, to let y'all know how it went and everything like that. I probably won't know if I actually got the job. Hopefully he, you know, go ahead and tell me whether or not I got it, you know what I'm saying? But, um, if he doesn't, I'm just gonna let y'all know how it went. So, wish me luck. Y'all already know I'm nervous. But we in the store. I got the Juice Man these jeans right here and this t shirt. It's a 5X, but it's really, really cute. So, and of course, I got a, I had to come over here in the shoes because um, I just had to come over here in the shoes. I'm gonna go back there and see if I can find any. um. I want to wear a dress tomorrow because I want to be really comfortable. So I'm gonna see if I can find a dress. So I'll let y'all know. Family, I, I am all done with my interview. Um, it went really, really well. It went better than I was expecting. I was really, really nervous, but I just prayed for, um, you know, God, God to guide my tongue and, you know, my mind and all that stuff because I already know me. I'll be spitting and. Uh, uh, stumbling over my words and shit and stuttering. I don't even motherfucking stutter. Y'all know how fast I talk, but either way, went pretty well. Um, he sent me a grammar test, so I had to, um, 
complete the grammar test. I actually just got done with that and I had to email it back to him. And he is supposed to be contacting me this weekend and training actually starts on Monday, which is only a one day training and it is paid. And wow, I mean, super duper blessing when I tell you family, super duper blessing. But I will be working full time hours with this job and full time hours with my other one. But I'm still going to be able to do my thug thizzle. You know, that's all part of being a grown up. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. So I have two jobs plus YouTube plus a whole lot of other shit thrifting and all that type of shit that a bitch has got to do. You know, I can't I can't cut that type of shit off. But it is what it is. But I am about to shower and get dressed so I can head down my mom's house. I hope that you guys have an awesome weekend. Thank you so much for your prayers for those of you who um, have been praying for me and everything like that. Um, I will be giving you guys details about everything that went on down there, you know, omitting some personal stuff. You know, hopefully it ain't nothing personal going on. But I'm going to go on down here and whoop some ass and some Uno and some space and things and some dominoes, you know. And bust a couple of niggas' heads with some fucking uh, water balloons. And we're just going to have a good old time. Also, I did find me a purple dress at the thrift store. I'm sorry I don't have it in here with me right now. But I did find me a purple dress at the thrift store. So I will be wearing that. And it's going to be a little cute little situation going on. But anyway, I'm sorry that this video was very, very short. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys um, either Sunday or Monday. I'm not really sure. But you'll see me pretty soon so i'm super excited um it looks pretty promising because the grammar test i did very very well on um so i am super excited so thank you so much family i'll talk to you guys when i talk to you peace out subscribe rate and comment if you haven't commented and subscribed to my shit Goddamn. bye family